Hi, Raz. Hi, Sabrina. And hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Event Props Together at Home. Today is a very special episode, and it's kind of different because it's my birthday. I thought as a treat, of course, to myself, mostly. It would be awesome to have a chat with one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world, who also happens to be an event prof, uh, Raz. So me and Raz have known each other now for a long time. I want to say about 13 years. And we met each other uh, when we both used to work for Hilton uh, in London. She was part of the regional sales team and I was working as my sales manager for the Hilton London Metropole and both our offices were in the same building. And the rest you can say is history. So I will now hand it over to Rizelle who will introduce herself, tell you a little bit about who she is, what she does, where she is based uh, and what the situation there is right now. So handing it over to Rez. Okay, so I'm in Singapore. So slightly further away from you. Um, so I own, I'm the founder and owner of Bonsai Communications, uh, which predominantly is a hotel venues representation company. Um, but I also do uh, freelance event management as well as a freelance makeup artistry as well. So uh, I keep it varied, should we say. Um, and my situation here at the moment is, I think, pretty much the same as everyone else. We're on lockdown, so we're officially on lockdown until the 4th of May. So we can still go out, we can still go to the supermarket, we can still go for our daily exercise, but we have to wear masks wherever we go. Okay. So as soon as, you it, as soon as you've finished exercising, you need to put the mask back on. Um, and the penalties here are quite strict, so yes. We do as we're told over here. <laughs> okay. And so you obviously um, uh, work from home anyway. Uh, do you have a dedicated space for yourself at home? Um, how is it working right now? Because obviously you're not alone at home. You are with your husband and your son and you're all in the same space. So how is that working uh, in terms of work life? Well, I guess for me, I've been, I've always worked, well, I've worked from home since what, uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. So actually working for me is quite the norm. Yeah. What's not norm is having my son and my husband in effectively what I call my space. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so my dedicated office is now actually my husband's dedicated office. Mm -hmm. And that's purely because he does a lot more calls. So it, it's better for him to have that dedicated space. My son, he's obviously homeschooled now. So that we've had to organize a space for him. The school don't want him to work in his bedroom. So we've had to put him into the living room. So that has meant that that's been quite challenging for me. I'm the one that's quite flexible. So I'm sort of moving around the house, grabbing a table where I can. So that's how it's currently working. And are you trying to sort of keep to a certain type of sort of um, work day or are you kind of doing it as it comes along? Okay, well, typically my days are wake up, uh, breakfast, then uh, workout. So I try and do a workout first thing in the morning. Uh, Leon starts school uh, at 8.30 in the morning. So he gets up and does his own thing in the morning. Um, he's quite self-sufficient. So during the day, it's helping him really, uh, making sure he's okay, making sure he knows what he's doing. Um, I will try and do my emails in the morning. I will try and do calls. Depends, because obviously my calls are global. So yeah. I have to work that depending on who I've got my call with. So generally in the morning, it's setting up calls. Um, so checking emails, um, speaking with the US or with Asia mm -hmm. uh, generally. Then we do lunch. So we try and do lunch together as a family. Yeah. Um, so again, I've become head chef. So, you know, meal planning. Of course, my husband does uh, also help with that. Mm -hmm. Then the afternoon. So Leon generally finishes around 2.30, 3 o'clock. And then the afternoon for me is online courses. Mm -hmm. um, and then we sort of do a bit of a tag team. And then I take over the desk. Um, which he was using, and then that's when I will do my calls. So I will do my calls um, with Europe predominantly when they're up and awake. And then evenings is usually dinner, an evening walk around to get some fresh air, and then Netflix and wine. Um, <laughs> 
that's a good thing. Yeah, I think we're both on the same page there. Yeah. So what are your three daily essentials now? So my three daily essentials would be, first thing is my concoction of hot water, mm -hmm. uh, cayenne pepper, and apple cider vinegar. Okay. So basically, apple cider vinegar is good as an antioxidant. It really reduces cholesterol, uh, lowers blood, uh, blood sugars, and then uh, cayenne pepper actually works to boost metabolism. Um, so that's my number one. Then my number two is my workout. I have to do that, otherwise it's not going to get done. And then thirdly would be coffee, Instagram, social media, <laughs> a bit of TikTok thrown in, I uh, think, well, just to keep me sane. Um, so yeah, those would be my three essentials. And have you come to any kind of realizations about yourself in this time where you've been locked down uh, with the family and with work and everything? I think during this time more so is all about self-care. And self-care is the best care. Uh, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of your family, you can't yeah. take care of the things that you need to do day in, day out. So I think, you know, that's definitely one thing I have made a priority is definitely self-care, hence the, the working out um, mm -hmm. every morning. Reconnecting, I think that's definitely one. I mean, yes, we're in sales and we're used to speaking to people on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, but I think sometimes we just take that for granted. And during this time, it's reconnecting with friends, reconnecting with family, making sure that they're okay. So that, again, is quite key. And then I think really truly appreciating what you have yeah absolutely. Um, I think, you know, those that you've got around you having a lot more patience <laughs> I would say and not enough can be said about the appreciation I have for teachers can I just yeah. say yeah. um but just, yeah really just appreciating everything that you have and um actually realizing that silence is good <laughs> yeah. definitely, nice definitely. Thing. Yes, and definitely embrace it. Uh, <laughs> silence when you're with everyone, I think is definitely, um, you know, something that you really do need to embrace. That's awesome. Yeah, I, did, I never actually thought about that, but you are yeah. absolutely right. Silence is, in this case, golden. So in terms of what you're doing from a wellness perspective, obviously you've mentioned that you do your daily workout, that you're doing a lot of self-care. Um, so what are you doing additionally, both physically and mentally for wellness? Well, I think, yes, working out, but also getting out of the house, uh, you know, taking in the fresh air. I mean, we're quite lucky here. Uh, you know, I do have a balcony, so I can go out onto the balcony. So that's quite good. Um, you know, just breathing also helps, <laughs> you know, just actually taking deep breaths. Actually, um, I wouldn't say I do much meditating, but, you know, just taking deep breaths and really um, just taking it all in along with the silence really does help. And can you give us any recommendations of anything you've been watching, reading, doing? I mean, obviously, there's been, everyone's been doing so many different things from cooking to reading to working out to all sorts. So what have you been doing or what can you recommend from this time has brought you some positivity and entertainment and joy? I think TikTok for me uh, <laughs> is one thing. It's yeah. definitely... Uh, something that I've looked at, you know, making a, a TikTok video and, and getting your friends to join in with that. Um, yeah. Watch this space. I think something might be coming out on that. And then, you know, video calls with family, with friends, uh, looking back at old photos and videos. Um, I know my husband and I have definitely done that. And, you know, videos of when, you know, our youngest or when the kids were younger and looking back on that. Um, planning. So I think, you know, during this time, you need to give yourself a bit of a boost, yeah. um, you know, so personal enrichment and how can you do that? Uh, you know, doing these online courses and still planning, planning holidays, you know, it, things will get back to where they were, you know, there will be time when you'll be able to travel and yes, bread making is definitely a good thing because <laughs> you definitely take out your, your attention on, on bread making. When you need um, to do exactly needing that dough and taking out all that aggression so i think you know those those for me are, are things that i've i've really 
sort of taken on board to be a bit more positive day to day. And then just dancing around the house to old school tunes that, you know, you might have forgotten, but um, that also helps. Yeah, that's actually very, very true. I think music has been uh, really important for me, especially in this time to, in a way, also escape from my environment. So obviously right now we are all consuming a lot of content we are online more than we've ever been for entertainment for education for can communicating do you practice any kind of digital detox at all well i think we've already touched on a lot of what i am doing you know the workout is definitely something um that you know is a way having said that i do follow a lot of things online as well yeah. in terms of workouts um, but you know once you've watched a few you can really adapt and, and make your workout your own yeah. um, you know again you know the listening to music to dancing around the house um, you know can be like a lunatic around the house and getting your family involved in that I think also also helps so you know that's definitely one thing that we're doing as a family is also you know going out and you know having walks and sort of taking ourselves away from our phones because ultimately that has been our sort of um, go-to during the day is, you know, on your laptop, on your phone, you know, it's almost like the internet, um, you know, is, is a basic human need at this yeah. time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, stepping away from it and just going for a walk and, and really just appreciating where you are and who you're with. Absolutely. And so, when this whole lockdown situation is over and everything starts to open up again in Singapore, where is the first place that you want to go? Right. Well, given that in Singapore, generally it's about 34 degrees, <laughs> um, we will be as a family jumping into the pool, <laughs> which is being closed off to us um, for obvious reasons. So I think that will probably be our first go-to uh, <laughs> as a family is jumping into that pool or probably with, every other family that's here um, and then going out and having a meal and having a nice dinner with friends um, you know and loved ones really I think that's really what we're missing right now is having that interaction um, yeah. with the people uh, that we usually hang out with exactly absolutely and once we can all get on a plane and fly again where's the first place that you want to go well hopefully the first place that I'll be going is at the UK um, is London because that's where my other son is. Um, I have really missed him uh, whilst being here. That's been sort of one of the most difficult things. Um, so hopefully first flight will be back to the UK, hopefully in July, um, fingers crossed. Um, and then there are other, a few other trips that we've got to rebook actually uh, for the remaining part of this year. So that's definitely uh, what we'll be doing first. Okay, and my last question is any words of advice for all of us event profs, travel profs, industry professionals that are in this situation all together at the moment? So my advice is slap. So this whole thing has been a big slap in the face. It <laughs> has really opened my eyes to, you know, the norm is never the norm everything's changing everything's moving everything's evolving so um slap so s stay connected um say sane and l for learning um so like i mentioned enrichment sort of new skills take on a new course learn about different things um take care of yourself and well-being um so learn to do that and really embrace that um then a analyze um i think you know as a business owner you know, especially when you've been doing it for years, not that I have been doing it for as many years as some of my other, um, you know, contacts, but, you know, really analyzing your business. Um, you know, what could you be doing differently? Um, what could you start to introduce? Uh, how can you adapt your business model uh, moving forward? Um, and also consider the value of time, yeah. um, you know, and, and really look at how you can improve your business and al almost go back to basics. So the last one be plan. So planning, plan, 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 uh, you know, plan for your future, plan for your business, um, practice good skincare because it's all about preservation, but, you know, planning. Um, and, you know, when you talk about planning as well, it's also, I think, a case of going back to basics, you know, uh, during this uh, whole COVID situation, you know, asking your clients, you know, what is 
what do they need now? You know, going out there and doing a bit more market research. You know, what are they doing? How can you help in finding that solution for them and how you can incorporate that into your own business strategy? So, yes, yeah, so my advice is definitely slap. slap. So give yourself a slap on the face. <laughs> um, go through those different things. Um, and that. then hopefully, you know, when everything gets back to normal, we can also give ourselves a pat on the back as opposed to slap in the face. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Raz. That was fantastic. I had a lot of fun. They're very insightful, great advice. And I hope that this is all going to be over soon. And when you do come to the UK, I'm going to be on that plane coming right over to, to meet you. So thank you again for your time. Thank you for sharing uh, some what, words of wisdom with us. I will definitely remember slap. And thank you everyone for watching another episode of Event Props Together at Home. I'm Sabrina Myers, Hot Hospitality Exchange. Stay at home, stay motivated, positive, and we're all gonna get through this together. So thank you for watching, bye.